What's up, man? Yo, it's March 26th, vlog number four, my sister's birthday, and it's 942, you can't really tell, but it's all Gucci, because you know what I'm saying. All right, so I just finished reading chapters, hold up, let me put this right here, there we go, chapters 11 to 15 of Sense and Sensibility, and uh, let me tell you, I'm liking the book, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, in these chapters, a little quick recap, we begin to see um, Marianne spend a lot of more time with Willoughby. Um, Eleanor is very skeptical about their relationship because she feels that uh, uh, Marianne is too attached to Willoughby. And then, well, he'll see at one point her and Colonel Brandon, Eleanor and Colonel Brandon having a conversation and uh, Colonel Brandon asked Eleanor if she believes in second attachments. And that's a pretty key key point in that chapter. Um, and then they, she goes on to say that, yeah, she believes it. And then he questions her. He questions Eleanor about Marianne. And uh, she says that what she doesn't like, I guess, about Marianne is that she believes in love at first sight. So we begin to see how appearances play a vital role in the way she perceives things. And a little bit later down, we also see... Uh, Margaret, the younger sister, she sees Willoughby cut off a strand or a piece of um, Marianne's hair. And she believes that it's a sign of uh, engagement or like marriage or something like that of that sort. And then she goes on and she tells the family. And once again, Eleanor is there to say that uh, to not jump into conclusions based on what she saw. And then a little bit later down, <clears throat> I think Colonel Brandon and all of them, they were like the like the... Dash were ladies and Willoughby and they were all going to go down to some estate in Whitwell. But Colonel Brandon gets a letter and it's very urgent and it says that he has to go to town. So the plans get canceled and then they just, they all just decide to, I guess, drive around uh, the city where they're at. And um, after that, they invite Colonel Brandon. No, they invite Willoughby to dinner the following day. Um... And then when that comes along, uh, the the family returns and they see that Willoughby has just left uh, Marianne and Marianne's crying because he told her that um, he has to leave out of town and he's not going to be back for probably like a year. And yeah, that's where I ended up. That's a, the, the quick recap. Um, what I think was very interesting about this, these chapters that I read is um, how we begin to see like um, the theme of appearance really develop. And uh, we begin to see the contrast between Eleanor and Marianne and uh, Colonel Brandon and uh, Willoughby. Um, basically, with appearance, uh, appearance, the theme of appearance plays a very vital role in the story. And uh, we see that through Marianne because Marianne is really caught up in the moment with um, Willoughby. And the only person that really sees through that is Eleanor. Because like, uh, when she was talking to Colonel Brandon about the second attachments... That's really important too because the way that I feel is second attachment meaning being attached to more than one person and then we've seen their father or their grandfather and I think it was her father be with two women and then we, we were seeing how Marianne likes Willoughby but Colonel Brandon is also there and uh, all of that so we begin to see how like everyone is attached to more than one person and then how she says that Marianne really focuses on um, love at first sight. So based on appearance, that's how she judges people. But Eleanor, on the other hand, she wants words, facts, to prove what is being perceived. Um, for example, when uh, Margaret assumes that um, El uh, that Marianne and uh, Willoughby are engaged, uh, Eleanor says, don't jump into conclusions based on what you've seen, except you should uh, wait to know if that really is happening. Based on like facts. Hey, he has to confirm it. She has to confirm it, not just on what she's seen. So we begin to see how that that's developing, and then we also see we also see um, attachments and connections. How that that can be really contrasted, because um, Eleanor was talking when she was talking to Colonel Brandon about that. She basically said that an attachment is when you're emotionally connected to a person, and the connection is more of, of like a pu a public bond. So we kind of see that with with uh, Marianne and Willoughby. She's only attracted to him because of what she sees, but not who he is. And Eleanor is like the only one. She's like the the, the right-minded. 
She doesn't let her, her judgment get clouded. She sees through that and she waits for things to be confirmed and rather than believe what is assumed to be true based on what is uh, in front of their eyes. So I think that that's that's pretty interesting, I guess you can say. How uh, we begin to see like the big juxtaposition juxtaposition between those two characters, Eleanor and Marianne. And then so yeah. It's pretty much it. Kinda all over the place, I apologize. But yeah, I just wanted to like focus in on uh, the theme of appearance. Uh, I'm, I'm beginning to see that that's very prevalent in the novel. And uh, how Eleanor... I feel that Eleanor is essentially Jane Austen. I feel that Eleanor... Uh, that Austen uses Eleanor to... I guess speak what Austen truly uh, feels. So yeah, um, that's another interesting point. And yeah, I just can't wait to see what happens. I'm... Pretty interested in the novel so far, but yeah, like I said, it's my sister's birthday. Happy birthday to them. I love you, Cortez. Got a point there. Uh, but yeah, I apologize. It was kind of all over the place, but yeah, till next time.